This video is going to show a general view of CPU scheduling. I would like to point out some key pieces within this model. First, the ready queue contains the active processes that are in the running state or ready state. This is shown with the open-ended rectangle in the middle of the screen labeled ready queue. Next, I would like to note the two pointers labeled head and tail in the circles at the top of the model. The head points always points to the head or front of the ready queue. When a process is in this particular place in the queue, it is considered an active running process. All processes behind or to the right of the first process are considered to be in the ready state. The very last process will have the tail pointer pointing at it. Next, I would like to point out the text at the bottom of the screen labeled max ticks allowed, if it equals 15. Max ticks allowed is some amount of time defined by the operating system of a computer. This amount of time is a limit for which any given process can run while in the head or first position of the ready queue. In this model, our limit is defined to be 15 clock ticks. The next object to point out is the process table with the text process table under it. It is modeled as a large rectangle with squares inside of it. Try to think of it as a table with one row and many columns. Each column or cell for that matter in the table contains all processes that are in one of four possible states. Those four states are one, running, which is in the process table and at the head of the ready queue, two, ready, which is in the process table and in some position of the ready queue, three, suspended, which is only in the process table, and four, blocked, which is only in the process table. Another piece to be pointed out are the numbers that increment down at the bottom of the cells mentioned above. These are the clock ticks that, are, that each process uses. Some may go up to the max layout, which is 15, and others may not. Throughout this video, processes will be created and moved around from the process table to the ready queue and vice versa. Some will leave the process table completely.